Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Um, today is a flip through video. And if you've been following me around, uh, <laughs> around, if you've been, you know, following the saga that is my planner life, uh, you will notice that I am no longer in my Moterm. I don't know how long this will last. I thought it's been a while since I've been in my Filofax. Let's move everything over. And I'm having more trouble adjusting than I expected. So, and then I will also address quickly that, yes, I filed, I cut and filed the nails on my right hand, but not my left. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what happened. Um, so yeah, I'm in right now my motor, sorry, my file of facts, Malden. The color is ochre. I got this second hand, um, from Facebook marketplace and I absolutely love it. Um, the color, just something about it. I always say it just makes me so happy. Um, but the thing that's making me kind of want to go straight back into the Moterm is um, that I like to use this as my wallet. I've That's part of like what I've gotten into the habit of, just grabbing my planner and having everything with me. Um, and it's a little bit trickier in here. Uh, some of my cards that I don't use as often are now just living in my purse, which just means that like next time someone has a doctor's appointment, I have to make sure to bring the cards because they're not in here. That's probably like overall... 90% of the time, much better to just not have that stuff bulking up the planner. Um, but I just hope I don't forget stuff because I'm used to having it in here. Uh, so the only thing that is not going to be in this flip through is that right here I have a, a plastic credit card holder insert. I just pulled it out so that you don't see any of that. Um, but that lives in here and that's my wallet. It's got my driver's license, two credit cards and a debit card. Um, and that's really it. There's like, I think one quarter in the front here. I'll show you all the pockets first. Um, the front pocket here has like some of these little stickers that I got off Amazon. Some of these little stickers from um, Twin 16. And then I think, I thought, oh, I've got a little diary key. Um, I don't think this ever went to a diary, but it's cute, I guess. And then I have one quarter. I guess, optimistically, this is if I ever go to Aldi, which it's too far away, I don't. Um, so yeah, I, that's the extent of the cash that I have in here. I think my husband has more than he needs, so I need to get him to hand me some. Um, so this front slot has um, the little Ulta card that I just, you know, it's like a membership card that I don't use, and so it's got some washi tapes um, to be using. I sliced some of this washi tape to work for, you'll see, in my daily planning. Uh, so I have that on here. And then I don't have any credit cards in the front here because it was just bulking things up. Like the pocket size is not great for that. It fits too horizontally, but then they're sticking out and um, that's fine for the first pocket, but you start to get into the spine. So I don't have any of my wallet stuff in the front. Um, and then the back pocket here has my vaccine card because it fits in a pocket planner better than it fits in a wallet. That way I won't lose it. Um, and then the back pocket has some stickers here. I've got, let's see, some Twin 16s, some Mad Hatter Stickers Co's, and a couple of these Peanuts Planner Co uh, daily post-it notes, which I love and I probably don't need right now, but there you go. The pen loop on this planner has been a problem. Like since I got it, uh, the inside of it, it's it's lined with like the same um, like nylon as this pocket, for example. Or is it? Is it lined with leather? Anyway, it's got like two layers, but they're not sewn down on the inside. Um, and so they keep flapping up and curling up and getting weird. Also, if you've ever used a malt and you know this pen loop is simply too small to be usable with anything. I was for a while using Muji gel pens and they fit in here. Um, but what I would have to do is take the like I do this so casually in so many videos, you probably, you may or may not have even noticed. You may have thought, that's a weird tick. And uh, yeah, I would take the cap off and stick the pointy end backwards through the pen loop and then cap it again uh, because the pointy end of the pen could get through. Anyway, the point is I'm not using this pen loop right now. I've got a paper clip in here pinning it down so that it doesn't get in the way. And then I'm keeping my pen in the front here and I have to take it out in order to flip through my planner. That is the price I pay. I was trying with like a binder clip to stick it on a binder clip, but it just, it gets in the way here. It was just, it, I didn't like it. So 
anyway that's why I'm keeping my pen and then let's see the back pocket has a couple of ephemera it's got a packet of <laughs> romaine seeds it's got this sticker from probably a product and I don't remember what it is but there you go that's it I don't really go into this pocket very often I guess at least I need to plant lettuce back pockets got some Mad Hatter stickers co-stickers it's got some my DMV registration information because I need to put something in with our taxes because I keep forgetting it's got a jury summons that I postponed until October it's got more stickers from Mad Hatter sticker co and twin 16 it's got three blank checks and more stickers <laughs> mostly it's stickers um, I like that they fit in here you don't have to worry about the sticker sheet itself being small enough like I like this the best because they're not folded or anything but having a nice big back pocket is great that's the reason I've said before that I like pocket size I've been feeling the itch lately to try something else just to be interesting but like I don't know that would involve like investing in another cover and I don't really want to do that it also would involve a time investment of getting everything set up like I know I could just make a felt like a happy planner style these are the things I think about and the fact that I've started to think about it means it's not going to leave my head until I act on it and then I'll regret it so stay tuned subscribe let's jump right into the <laughs> jump right in as if I haven't been talking for who knows I can't see the counter oh six minutes already um this is the actual flip through part these planner tab these like white uh, or frosted tabs I get got from Marlene's plan to create on Etsy who doesn't have a shop anymore but if you search frosted plastic planner tabs you can usually find something there were several options at the time I get that question all the time and it's terrible that I can't point someone it was like the month after I bought them that suddenly she's just not on Etsy anymore so maybe she's somewhere else if you know let me know but there you go flyleaf uh, and the acetates are from peanuts planner co most of these inserts are from my shop ganchyplans.com um you can see the little watermark that's how it lets you know um this insert here i don't remember the number but it was like last month that i released it the currently dashboard so i filled out some of it um i haven't just like <laughs> i'm really not reading anything so i should probably just literally write the word nothing or i don't know um and doing I haven't decided what's important enough to be categorized as doing but I have that printed on the front here so that it's not just a blank page and then we jump into my monthly I I didn't already say I spent yesterday reorganizing my tabs this is a very different planner flip through than usual like usually my flip throughs are like and this is the exact same thing as last month come back in another month for the exact same thing but no this month I've switched things around and therefore I'm not going to know what I'm finding until I get there because I haven't oriented myself to this. I just wanted something new and different. So uh, yeah, the tabs have all been moved and uh, let's find out. But it still starts with the monthly, insert 33. Um, and yeah, I did a monthly plan with me. I walked through the logic of all of this. The one line, one thing tracker from my summer touch. Uh, so I have my one line a day journal, which I would show you, but it's under some stuff. Um, and the Bible in a Year podcast. You can see I've like I'm filming this on the 15th, and I haven't filled out the tracker because uh, I do it like I fill out the tracker every couple of weeks. You know, it, it doesn't really matter, but I kind of like seeing that it's progressing and it's one piece of paper, whatever. Level 10 life. Um, I haven't done this again in a while. I'm feeling like I'm kind of due for it, but also not feeling like I'm up to that introspection level just yet. But this is here to sort of give me an idea of my goals and areas of my life to focus on, like maybe cleaning the house. Um, and then these are the monthly resolutions. <laughs> I always start the year with monthly resolutions. As you can see, I got four good months in, fell off the wagon in May and haven't actually made one since then. But I'm thinking it's probably time to pick up the back end of the year and start with some monthly resolutions again but I have to decide what's important which is usually what I use this level 10 life spread for so we'll see there's still half of July left to get that my act together you know waiting on list and oh my NFP chart I was asked about this recently it's for you know fertility tracking and so that's why I don't show it to you but it's folded up in here I print it it's nicer to keep with my stuff um in theory, I guess you also, it's useful to have your husband 
do the tracking so that you're both on the same page. Um, but I'm not really doing it very uh, in depth right now either. Not that you need to know that. Uh, tab one here uh, is now future planning. So I've got, this is just like a list of upcoming weekends so that I can be like, oh yeah, okay, in two more weeks I've got, I don't know what the events are yet, but it's going to be my endless anniversary. I think that's one, that's three weeks from now. Um, and so that just kind of keeps things forefront. There's a couple notes and things I don't want to forget. I almost did forget. I put baby food because I have some spare baby food to give to my sister when we visit this weekend, for example. Um, then this is my future log. I got this from Peanuts Planner Co. It's in her dated yearly bundle, which I love. Um, and then this is the and afterwards part, which I got from the freebie monthly that she has on her Facebook page. It's like the cover page for that. So this is anything that's for future planning in 2022. And this is for after that. This guy here, I printed out the school schedule and I folded it up here. I only trim like cut into these bottom three so that I can just pop it in and out unfold it and I'm not going to show you the whole thing um because you know that's kind of a security issue but um this is my daughter's school schedule because she's going to preschool next month and she's growing up so fast my recurring task list um spells onto page two this page is almost full so I might just migrate the last couple of things over maybe at the end, beginning of next month or something last time I said that and it didn't happen for like months and months birthdays and anniversaries and then tab two is now my weeklies this is you know as you've seen let's see I don't know how much I showed you of this week oh I did this is the week I did a plan with me so the beginning of July I've, I've been using this setup for uh, this is my second month now this is the week I'm on uh, this this is today so I've been getting up earlier in the morning this week to get stuff done like this. It's currently 5.30. I have my coffee right here. Um, and so I've been like marking off things to do in the morning instead of the evening. Well, an evening now is this little box because I want to get to bed sooner so I can wake up sooner. Then I have, what, two more weeks? printed out, ready to go. Then tab three is projects, I guess. So um, my inbox, which is just like miscellaneous notes and anything that doesn't, well, it's private. See, I am using this insert 37 from my shop um, to basically have it like a little, you can't see this, and all of the inbox is under there. Um, and then I actually do, let me show this. I did um, copy out like a proposed AM and PM routine, um, before bedtime and in the morning to kind of get me jump started on this new, this new version of myself that wakes up at 4.30. Um, so that pops out and it's pretty handy. So these foldouts are pretty cool. Just saying, insert 37. Um, the back of it would normally be where I keep my sticky note index, but I think I'm going to maybe change that around a little bit. Anyway, I have this Eisenhower matrix printed out and I haven't used it. The idea would be like to brain dump here and then categorize it here, but I haven't used it yet. I probably will just take it out at some point, but I did remember that I have these inserts from, um, Peanuts Planner Co. Goal Planning inserts, which are just tiny little projects. Um, without like using an entire page or entire section of your planner for a simple project. I was realizing there are a lot of tasks on my weekly to-do list or on my next week, which is like upcoming projects list that I was just never going to get around to because they seem too daunting. And I was realizing usually when that happens, that's because I'm looking at projects instead of tasks. Um, and sometimes a project can hide as a task. And then you're like, well, how come I can't even get this started? It's like, well, because you have the end goal listed instead of the first step. So um, then I remembered that I had these. I was using these for a long time for um, content stuff, like Ganshi stuff, um, like collabs and PR stuff or whatever. Um, and so you never really got to see this very much because it was always stuff that was secret. Um, but now you kind of can. I printed out a couple of them. And my idea is at the end of every week, 
say I haven't done this yet, but this is my idea. At the end of every week, I'll take anything that's on here that feels daunting, that, that especially things that have been there for more than a week or so, and put them on here. So I have a goal um, and then some steps. And then I can list out the steps and then take the first step and put it back on the task list. The other thing I need to try to get into the better habit of is um, when you get something done in a project, that like at the end of that wrap up day, even though the task is crossed out, you still have to remember to go back and grab the next action item uh, or at least determine what that next item is going to be so that you don't stagnate. Um, but anyway, that's what these are for, um, for considering more things to be projects. Some new maybe list gets tucked in because it needs to live somewhere. And I guess in theory, these things can move on to project, you know, formats. Then um, these top tabs are supposed to be like four different projects. At least that was what I bought them for. Tab one is for my video schedule and Instagram schedule. Um, and so I do a lot of my content planning in a separate traveler's notebook, but the schedule itself I need to know in here. So that's where that lives. Um, then tab two, let me see, I don't remember. Ah, tab two is all of my project pages that are like full pages. I don't know if it makes a lot of sense. Previously I had projects and I had reference. That's what this was for. Um, and the distinction between the two is always a little bit confusing. And so I would be flipping back and forth trying to find stuff. So I'm trying to sort of combine them, but also I have a lot of tabs in here and I felt like I needed to do something in each of them. So I might hate this and either go back to what I was doing before or try something new. But, you know, that's what, that's growth. I've been in the same sort of tab setup for like a, two years or something. I just, I felt like I needed a change. So I've got, uh, this is where I have a sticky note index for craft projects, garden to-dos and planning, and then my examination of conscience insert, which I'm going to need to use soon. We really are due. Tab three uh, will be, I guess, I guess we're calling this tab my current project, which this week is a packing list. So that's what that is. Then tab four I have here, I guess is media stuff. So I have my to read, watch, listen list of things that I want to watch. Um, this is a newer insert for my shop too. Um, I also am going to try to start a watch through of the entire MCU. So that's here. I got halfway through iron, Man, so I can't read it yet. Um, We'll, we'll get there, but I'm also watching, I'm st also still working on like a 90s Star Trek marathon, which I have been since like December, November. Um, there's a lot, but I'm on Enterprise now, which not so bad actually. Uh, library books, which actually I just returned a whole bunch of them yesterday. I returned this one and I returned this one, this one but I've managed to misplace just a couple. I'm sure I will find them. They are opening up the library again, but they still haven't started enforcing due dates. So this insert might be a little bit overkill, but someday it'll be useful. Then um, the last tab, well, because the very final tab you'll see, but tab five here is, I guess, uh, shopping. So meal plan, right? It's like what I have in the cupboard to cook with and then schedule of meals, of dinners, grocery list. I have a couple of these because I always need another one every week or two. And then I decided to categorize that with my gift ideas and my wish list, my personal wish list, because I needed somewhere to live. And then the back tab is just spare paper. Let's see. My favorite post-it notes couple of jot pads that I really don't use, but this would be great for like a quick, I don't know, grocery list or something, throw away. And then just some grids, lines, and checklists. And then, like I said, um, oh, this is where the spare post-it notes from my sticky note index are. Um, then I have another acetate to protect. I keep my credit cards in here and then this fly leaf in the back to keep things nice and svelte this guy in here and give it a little tug tug so it doesn't get caught on the pen loop and it's not too bad. I don't know why this is 
quite so bubbly. I feel like that's sort of a miscalculation, but I guess it's better to lay flat than to be flat when it's closed. All right, that's the whole thing. That's my Malden. Um, it's working out. Uh, like I said, I kind of miss having the separate, like the flyleaf. The flyleaf from the Motrum would not fit. It, like it would not match. It's orange and I don't, it just, it would clash. So I didn't want to move that over, but it was very convenient for having space for more cards. Um, and I felt, yeah, that it was a better wallet. That was why I got the Moterm. It's a, a better wallet, but I do like, you know, the Filofax. It's, it's classy looking. Um, so that's where I am right now. Thank you guys for watching. That was a longer flip through than usual because a lot of things have actually changed. Um, if you would like to continue to follow my planner journey, please, please consider subscribing. There's a button down there to do that. Another one for liking the video. Um, I guess there's one for sharing if you find me worthy of that, but don't worry about it. Um, I post videos every Thursday about my planner system. Uh, you can also check out most of these inserts come from ganchiplans.com slash shop, as I mentioned, and I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye. Thank you.